Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko no Reto Se, season 2 episode number 1. Okay, uh, so uh, I'll have to like uh, I'm saying this now. Uh, if you guys like want the opening reaction, go to the below in the timestamps in the comment section uh, and click on the timestamp. You'll be taken to that. And if you are here for the reaction, also be sure to like uh, listen to like uh, my what can I say like this is the second season so I'm going to like talk about my impressions of the first season and all so that uh, you guys can understand what uh, my like how I like the show and all and what is my impression of it so here it is like I've watched season one and uh, obviously the movie as well and uh, I have to say one thing that uh, this was a long time before that is the season one came out a long time before and I forgot and all, almost all of it what the hell happened I even forgot all of that so I rewatched it uh, a few days ago and now I'm like all uh, caught up to it and I like remember everything and the number one thing that I have to say here is like uh, I've also seen a few like people react to this as well and like the main concern of people is like the thing with uh, the brother and sister like Miyuki and Tatsuya the thing that happens like uh, this is like a full-blown what can I say um, like siscon broke on type of thing so like uh, I've, I'll, I'm talking about like my impressions on that uh, number one uh, obviously this is weird because like they're blood related but there's a big but here like I'm a person who has been watching anime for seven years and I've watched shows like Oreimo <laughs> Monogatari series and uh, what else was uh, there uh, which was quite extreme um, I can't remember anyways but yeah so like I've seen stuff oh Eromanga Sensei <laughs> How can I forget that? Uh, I've like watched shows like this and I'm used to it. Like I'll be honest here, like seeing stuff like this, like f at first when I was new to anime it weirded me out but now I'm like, uh, you, you guys know that meme like uh, in Goblin Sai you get used to it meme? Yeah, that's the same thing is with me. <laughs> I got used to it and I feel nothing now. Uh, and uh, like I think like this is like uh, like a thing which has been like overplayed by anime a lot of times so like I don't uh, like really give like get uncomfortable now and I'm quite used to it so yeah <laughs> that thing <laughs> like I made this clear at the beginning and only and uh, obviously like this show is not some kind of like a gag thing where like there's usually some type of like some animes where like people uh, use that siscon broke on kind of thing as a gag for example monogatari uh, it is like a complete gag thing and even though araragi does stuff like those uh, he does it more as like kind of like a joke and like uh, stuff like that and uh, a lot of shows are there like that but obviously this show is a bit serious and like the subtle implications of those stuff is obviously like serious and i think uh, like this is a more like takes a serious approach on that so yeah like uh, i really d don't uh, get uncomf <laughs> uncomfortable now and I'm, I'm quite used to it so that won't be a problem to me and obviously the season one was i loved it so much because i love the thing with uh, where like the main character keeps his power hidden and all and like are extremely op and obviously tatsuya aka gotsuya <laughs> he is like so op that like he can like he can he can't die like just imagine like if he dies he just like boots a, a new what can i say that thing up I, I forgot all of the names all of the uh it has a, a particular name i forgot that anyways and he has like things like material burst and like um flash cast and stuff like those like so many things and i really enjoyed the scientific aspect like uh involved in this show as well like science and magic and like how they like go into the nitty gritty things and like they uh, like dive into the more technical stuff related to this like i really enjoyed those stuff as well and obviously tatsuyan is uh, tatsuya's uh, god like god like level power that was uh, like satisfying as well so yeah that is like my basically like my impression of the first season so yeah guys so without further ado let's get started with episode number one of mahou kako kono reto se season two Okay, so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh. 
Okay. Yeah, we know this. Strategic class magicians. I have to, I'll like probably keep a lot quiet in this show because you have to like read the subtitles and a lot of things. Scotch Halloween. Okay. Christmas, okay. All right, something is happening here and excuse me. Whoa, who is this? Damn, she looks cool. Oh yeah. She was in the movie, wasn't she? Oh boy. Damn. Yep. Woo. It's an army criminal law. Stars, yeah. Sentence you to death. Okay, what happened? We'll probably not get to know now. Okay. Cafe in a breeze. Oh. Oh, so she will be like going away. It's foreign exchange program. Oh, so. Oh, oh, she'll come back. I thought that she'll like go away. Okay, exchange program. So, like someone else will come in instead, isn't it? East Coast, unstable for these days. Humans. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah that girl um who like I saw seen the trailer uh like that blonde girl we also saw her in the movie and I think her name was Angelica or something Oh wait a wait a minute Oh so it, okay I was a bit confused in the movies I I thought like when sh she was fighting in the movie she looked a lot different Oh, so they're the same person. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, all, all right, all right, oh, all right. Okay, this was new. I did not expect this. So this girl and that girl are the same. Okay. Hmm. 
mission find the suspected strategic class magician okay Strategic class magician who is responsible for strategy. Okay. Hmm. What is that? Okay, so it's dangerous, that's why. Throw them off balance. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, like if you become a little bit more stiff, yeah, the other will, one will suspect you. She's more like on a mission other than like not as a like exchange student but little wait a minute. Okay. 2096, damn, like so much in the future. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, that is also like all dressed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Oh, he's here as well. Uh, what was his name? Yakumo or something? Yeah, Yakumo. <laughs> what? Oh, who the hell is that? That is that that girl, like that blonde haired girl. I forgot, I forgot her name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn Tatsuya! <laughs> oh my god, this guy! <laughs> oh, Angelica, isn't it? Or Angelina, something like that. What type of dress is that? <laughs> yeah, it's like a. Oh, what type of dress is that? Hmm. Well, she's coming this way, so. Okay, so hmm. she'll be 
Oh, yeah, that girl, uh, she was in the movie as well. Lena. Oh, Angelina, Lena. Great job. <laughs> Amazing job. Yeah, you definitely were not standing out. This is like a weird fusion of yukata and uh, like like a with a skirt and all <laughs> Well technically this is an anime so <laughs> Okay I can understand her like person like her personality She's like a airhead. <laughs> oh no. Visitor arc. Oh, she's here. <laughs> oh my god, I'm spitting out. <laughs> okay, Angelina Kudo Shields. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Wait, Tatsuya doesn't know her? Like, he knew her in the movie. Wait, is that movie like taking place later on? Or like is he like acting? Damn the crowd. Okay. Wow, the whole like whole academy is here. All right. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, okay. Interference power was superior. Oh, okay. Hmm, okay. Okay, so he doesn't know. So the movie took place later on. <laughs> um Oh so everyone knows that red haired persona is serious
मिया ओके Under cover of the magic universe. We'll be on good terms. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. Like that is quite kind of weird. Oh, so that's what she's I also thought that was kind of weird. Like, why they call her Nina? Um, I I don't think he's just <laughs> okay. All right, I think he's here. She's here. Yep. What's to? Okay. Well. Well, yeah. Well, his magic is like. Yeah. <laughs> okay, who <laughs> well Yep. Well, he would have gotten a little more than hurt if she got hit by that. <laughs> yep. Mm, I don't think. <laughs> well, Tatsuya is kind of pissed. Okay, well. <laughs> Damn, this girl is really not suited for spy work. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, 
Well, he's so powerful, he doesn't <laughs> really. <laughs> oh, yeah, that also. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Mm, okay. Hmm. Oh boy, okay. Well, changing plans. Hmm. Wait, who is who who was that? Okay, here's the opening. Alright, let's see you. Season one uh, opening was amazing. Both of the openings. Okay, it started good. Okay, okay, this, this song is good, okay. All right, damn. Oh, some new characters you can see. Damn, this, okay, this opening is really good. Oh boy, Tasha versus um, Sirius will be okay. All right, damn, this opening was good, really good. Um, that was like an amazing opening. All right, so this is all right the first uh, episode. All right, uh, about the opening. Um, I enjoyed that opening. That was really good opening, and I have to say, like, uh, I was thinking, like, uh, in season one, the oh, both of the openings were so good, and the endings were amazing as well. So I'm also like uh, thinking, like, how they're going to do the endings as well. So obviously, I am like, I'm confident that there's there like the openings and the endings will be both amazing, and I kind of like <clears throat> got it correct. The opening was as I expected, amazing. So the ending, the endings left. We'll probably get to see that on the next episode. So yes, uh, in the opening we can could, could see a few of like new characters and obviously uh, like I can like guess what is going to happen like there's like going to happen a uh, fight between uh, Tatsuya and uh, Sirius uh, that is like Ange Angelina and uh, yeah so obviously Mahoka Koko no Retose is like what can I say um kind of like a unique anime where like uh like it like goes into details in all of the stuffs and all and so it's quite entertaining uh, in my like opinion and like it is extremely underrated the anime uh, i don't know why like people uh, i really see people watch it or like uh it, it is quite underrated so yeah i'm glad like i decided to like react to this and i'm like by the first episode i can say like this is going to be good like this uh, season as well so yeah that was like my impression of the opening uh the song was amazing and we got a few like uh, like we did not get spoiled i think and a few of the new characters they were like brief glimpses and all and uh, obviously the song was like top notch so yeah okay so about this episode all right so <clears throat> 
first thing I'm going to say here is like uh, I've seen seen the movie and one thing like in the movie uh, when that's where like uh, at, at almost like the at the end <coughs> that's where I think like they called like uh, Ange Angelina uh, and like uh, the thing that was happening um, to stop that so I can't remember the details of the movie because even though I like watched it recently it was a bit uh, quite a few months ago so like uh, they called in uh, and like Lena and when like Tatsu and uh, Miyuki saw Lena the like Tatsu immediately said that so Lena has come here so that means that she he knew her and like from the movie I thought probably like this was some kind of like a prequel thing to the second season like uh, like it uh, like is in between uh, season one and season two the movie but now like seeing this episode uh, Tasha did not know Lena so that means the movie takes place after this season isn't it or like in between this season somewhere so correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section like so like the movie like takes place after this or during this isn't it because like obviously Tatsuya did not know her like from the uh, like uh, conversations that it had in this episode I could understand like uh, this is like a new uh, like Tatsuya got to know Lina for the first time in this episode so yeah mm, okay that was the first thing and the second thing was uh, in the movie I saw like uh, obviously like Angelina was like a new character to me in that movie and uh, like I th like I was a little bit confused in that movie because like uh, they were showing uh, that other persona of Lena that uh, like flaming red hair and that mask yeah, like she was fighting and I thought for uh, uh, some time like where did she go like Lena go like uh, like who is this and like they were calling him Lean, her Lena, and uh, like a and her name was Angelina. So like all of this like con kind of confused me because obviously in the first season there was like no mention of Angelina anywhere, and suddenly in the movie like they introduced like her like as a character, and like that kind of confused me. This episode kind of cleared me, uh, uh, like uh, cleared my confusion because obviously like I did not, I, I, I was unable, like I did not, like it never ever crossed my mind that Lena and uh, that girl, like uh, that red haired persona, uh, Sirius, they are the same person. Like it never crossed my mind because they were so like, what can I say, different. Like their hair, their like, uh, like uh, everything, everything was different about them. The whole uh, like atmosphere around them and all were all different and I really did not suspect it at all so uh, okay now that really like answers a lot of my questions from the movie because I was a bit confused like why they were like showing another character where Lena was fighting suddenly so that kind of like answers it and uh, okay so yeah so f from all of the things that uh, this episode like uh, dealt into uh, number one is like Lena is the um, uh, like the leader of like USN there was some saying something like USN and all like uh, stars and everything uh, like I'm going to say one thing here like <laughs> the one thing that really confuses me about this like anime series is all of like the technical terms and all of the things like there are a lot of organizations and all and like that those really kind of like confuse me a bit and uh, like I can understand what like stars is probably like some kind of an other uh, organization uh, which is different from the one Tatsuya is in and it is like most probably like one of the like top organizations of the uh, world and all of the things about like uh, in season one there was stuff like uh, the what kind of what was it called uh, the 10 families or something all of those stuff like really confused me that like the anime itself is a bit confusing and all uh, because uh, like with all of the explanation and all like all of the info dumping so <clears throat> yeah like if like I'm going to t say it now if I'm like wrong about something or like misunderstanding something and you guys like uh, like like understand what I'm saying wrong and all be sure to like correct me down in the comments and um, <coughs> okay so as I was saying uh, so I'm guessing like uh, this uh, like Angelina she is like the leader of uh, this like stars uh, or, or something and uh, this organization or like they were calling her commander and all and uh, <coughs> like uh, like her other persona is the leader and I really don't know if I think they probably know who like Lena is 
like uh, like her organization members like uh, Sylvie and uh, all of them like all of the people who are working with her so I think like they at least know who she is but uh, like obviously from Tatsuya's like uh, words and all he still does not know and I don't know he'll, if he'll know <coughs> later on <coughs> because in the movie <coughs> it felt as if he knew uh, now that I'm thinking about it um, yeah, I think uh, in the movie he probably knew that Lena and Sirius were the s same person. So, <clears throat> most probably he like gets to know later on. <clears throat> like her identity, real identity. And, <clears throat> okay, that was the thing with Lena. And, uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, as I was saying, um, so Lena is pretty powerful, that means. Like, uh, like uh, being a commander to, uh, what can I say, um, uh, one of the like top organizations is like definitely requires a lot of power so like uh, obviously like i doubt she is as powerful as tatsuya but she must be pretty powerful and like almost like uh what can i say mm, par like almost at par to tatsuya obviously not powerful than him or like uh like at the same power level as him as uh, i think but definitely like she is close to tatsuya's power level and uh, so like this will be pretty like an epic uh wh whenever like they're going to fight and all like i like i can obviously tell from the openings and everything like they are going to have a fight and that will be pretty op then like uh two power like uh, tasuya is so powerful that anyone like like all of the enemies are like uh, specks of dust to him so like getting like uh like introduced to someone as powerful as him will be a pretty damn good fight and I'm like quite uh, int like excited to see whatever is going to happen later on okay and uh, that and then we get to see like um, uh, their aunt uh, what was her name uh, uh, Yotsuba I forgot anyways um, with M something with M her name is I can't remember anyways uh, her uh, their aunt so in season one we got to know that their aunt like holds a lot of power and Tasya also said one thing uh, in the first season like I'm not uh, like I'm powerful than her but I am not uh, trying to uh, what can I say um, <coughs> defeat her because if I defeat her all of the people like all of the uh, other like uh, the 10 families and all they're going to target us or something he said something like that so I'm like so Tasso said that I am uh, unless and until like I am uh, like uh, at a position where I can uh, take uh, a, like uh, a hold of the, my of the Yotsuba family I'm not going to do anything to my aunt because like uh, if the throne becomes empty uh, like people will tr like try to siege power so she said something like that i uh, i can remember and <clears throat> so we one thing we know that obviously tasso is more powerful than her but he is like doing stuff and like uh, doing stuff that she says and all uh, for some kind uh, for this type of a reason and there are a lot of mysteries surrounding her uh, tasuya and miyuki like why do they like uh, uh, like uh, what can i say do whatever that she is telling them like uh, I like I know she obviously she is like the um, uh, head of the clan, and uh, <clears throat> I also know that uh, that the, 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 her aunt was the reason why they like uh, Miyuki got assigned to uh, Tatsuya as a bodyguard. I think this was also like mentioned in the first season as well. So I think like all because of all of the reasons they kind of like <clears throat> do the stuff that she asked them to and <coughs> then we get to see like angie uh, angelina and all they were like uh, introduced angelina was introduced and everything uh, miyuki and uh, angelina kind of like had a fight uh, not fight but um, like a practice uh, duel kind of thing <coughs> and um, here is, here's the thing i was saying before that angelina must be pretty powerful so yeah, this kind of gets uh, like confirmed because Miyuki is pretty damn strong, and like uh, as uh, the student council president, I forgot her name. Uh, what was her name? That student council Saigusa, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I forgot her like first name. Anyways, uh, as Saigusa said that uh, Angelina was more powerful, like she had more raw strength, 
whereas Miyuki, she was strategic in her like uh, application of the magic. So she like uh, triumphed. So here's the thing, like strategy one a person can learn as like he or she uh, goes on doing this uh, thing or like practicing on and on. So in my opinion, Angelina would probably be more powerful, like become more powerful than Miyuki because she has that raw strength. She has that like advantage in the strength. So obviously a, a person can learn strategy and like improve in it day by day but the law raw strength that a person has is almost like constant obviously you can uh, like uh, what can i say um polish it through training and all but the strength that your uh, like uh, body has it is fixed you can refine it you can make it more sharper but the base stats you have is always fixed so like by that obviously angelina has a big advantage so she m might probably like be more powerful than miyuki so obviously Miyuki is pretty damn strong uh, I think like she is like like the most like the strongest out of like all of her like uh, classmates and all and I think she kind of like uh, is like at the same power level to uh, a lot of the people like Jumonji and all I think like she's pretty damn powerful so yeah Angelina is pretty powerful and will probably get an amazing kind of fight but obviously Tatsuya is God's fear. Who can like stop him? <laughs> he can like regenerate. What like like uh, like what else can you do to stop him? If you like kill him, he'll re regenerate and all using that uh, power. I, I forgot. I'm always forgetting that power's name. Anyways, and like the ground demolition, the flash cast, and all of these stuff. Like he can like <laughs> stop bullets with his hands. So <laughs> I doubt anything can be like a threat to Tatsuya. So. We're going to see that whatever is going to happen, and obviously, like um, <coughs> Tatsuya being that <laughs> like um, charismatic person, <laughs> and uh, Angelina being that kind of like a little bit of Sundre personality she has, <laughs> I think like um, she's going to fall for him as well. Well, uh, <laughs> by far Honoka, um, obviously his sister Miyuki. Um, and who else? Uh, was there anyone else who fell for him? Oh, thinking about it, no. Uh, these two are the only one. Oh, Saigusa, obviously. Why? Why did I forget her? Saigusa. And uh, these guys are uh, these uh, like uh, girls are like obviously like uh, crushes on Tasuya. And I think like <laughs> Angelina would probably <laughs> be one of them as well because obviously uh, she is a Sundre and like. Uh, the rival like that she has now uh, with the, the friendly rivalry she has with Tasuya is going to be the trigger okay so yeah that was episode number one and okay uh, and in the last bit we kind of get to see where like uh, 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 like Angelina's uh, mission gets changed she has to like track down the uh, people who are like uh, what was that um, yeah the people who are in like Tokyo now and like it became like a secondary objective like uh, in the school whatever that she was doing and so yeah we'll, we're going to see what happens now in the next episode and yeah that was like a good uh, first episode and obviously like I, I really like um, Mahoka Koko no Etose uh, I enjoyed season 1 thoroughly and I'm sure like I'm going to enjoy this season as well and uh, yeah so yeah guys that was episode number one my reaction to episode number one of Maoka Koko no Retose and uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and uh, be sure to comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share and uh, yes so and also like uh, if I'm like mistaken about something obviously because this anime like is uh, delves into a lot of like technical aspects and like scientific aspects uh, not scientific aspects but like um, a lot of like technical aspects it has and all of the like uh, workings and mechanisms between behind all of the like magic and all and uh, there were a, a lot of complicated things in it so if i am incorrect about something and like misunderstanding something please be sure to correct down me down in the comment section and uh, so yeah guys uh, that was episode number one so i'll be back with a new episode next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day